Hello YouTube, this is Jessica from Stemmy Guys. Welcome to another tutorial. Uh, I'm going to continue where we left off in the last tutorial. As you recall, in the last tutorial, I show you how to uh, create an alpha channel, how to add an alpha channel to an image or to a PNG image. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to take advantage of that uh, channel, that extra channel, that transparency, translucency space where we can hide our image. Images. So if you have, if you do not know what I'm talking about, you need to go back to watch my 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 last tutorial, which was converting to an alpha channel. Is this one right here? And if you also want to know more, you can even go into my other one where I show you how to convert, how to uh, hide uh, wave files and uh, spectrogram images inside of an image. But for now, let's go and continue where we left off. And as you remember, I created an alpha channel. This is the regular Mona Lisa right here. This is the reg this is the alpha channel, the uh, PNG containing an alpha channel. And I also made a copy here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start removing stuff here. So not to confuse you. So let me remove this one, this one. And uh, yes. And this one, don't worry about it. That's for a tutorial that I'm working on. And and this one, we I already show you how, the code in the last tutorial, how to convert to a, an RGBA. And that's the same code. But let's go with this one. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to take, I'm going to display this image. Display IMG1 PNG. And it's this Mona Lisa. And if we take the image info, so you can see it has an alpha channel right here, just like we did in the last tutorial. I just wanted to show you that. So there are two ways to do this. I mean, uh, the one way is to take the once this alpha channel is there, it's very easy to create. Uh, to hide things inside of it. One way is very easy. You just go cat and you go uh, the name of the image of your vessel and the uh, image that you want to hide. In this case, is this image right here, Vinny JPEG. And as you can see, it's a very big image. It's not a small image. And if we go here, Stand all images test. As you can see, it's not, it's a very big image, it's huge. So we are still, I'm gonna show you that no matter how big that is, I still can save it into this image, hide it in here. So we'll go through here and we'll go cat image one PNG to Vinny JPEG, and we're gonna call it a secret. JPEG. And if we see now, we're going to go LS, AL. You can see, if you see secret JPEG, this is this image right here. And you can see it's 564. And that's not coincidentally, that is the same amount of from 55, 650 plus 508-405, it gives you exactly 564.55. So as you can see, inside that image, there is another image. And if we display it, it just looks just like your regular image. But the problem with doing it this way, this method is, yes, you have all, you have an image inside of this image, but there's no way to, to get it out. Uh, let's say that you want to send it to somebody or you want to do whatever you're doing and you're, you're playing with friends. And there's, there's no way for you to take that other image inside here. That's the problem of doing it with the concatenate, which without uh, another carrier or what we call a payload or a vessel. So a much easier way, I mean, there are many ways, I, I'll show you other ways, but this is one way that is very easy, is just zip it. It's just use tools that we have 
at our disposal in the Linux uh, ecosystem. So just use it. So in, just take that image. Instead of creating this secret image like that, let me remove it so you don't get confused. And what I'm going to do, this is the Vinny JPEG that I want to hide inside this image right here. So all I need to do is just, just zip this image. A, it takes less space, and B, you are able to uh, unzip it later on in the different circumstances, and the image will still be intact in its format. That's the one advantage of zipping files. And, uh, and being that you have created that alpha channel that I show you how to create, it is you can take advantage and just put a zip file in there. So all you need to do is zip it, Vinny, the name of the zip, and what you are zipping. In this case, we're zipping a Vinny JPEG. And that's it. If we check, now zip. And I'm going to I'm going to remove this one so you know. And we we'll just have right now the zip, no more JPEGs. Okay, so the JPEG is inside. It's going to be inside this image right here. This is the alpha channel, and we're going to concatenate. We're going to use cat to add these with this and create a secret image, just like we did last time. So we're going to go cat, img, png, and then the name of the zip, and then create our secret image, just like we did last time. And it doesn't matter what format you use, what extension you use. We're using JPEG, but we could use any other one. And now, there it is. And if we check to see that he is this plus that plus that is inside here. And let's let's look at the math. Yeah, and there it is. So it's 55 767 plus 508 should be 564 172. That's exactly what it should be. So you know that there are two images inside. There's a zip file and there's an image. So now you can send this and you can do whatever you want with this image. And then later on, when the, when you want to open it, you just go, let's clear this, clear, unzip, unzip, secret, JPEG. And it's not even... It's going to complain saying that, what are you doing? But it's going to inflate it anyway. Even though it's warning you, it's still inflating you. And it's telling you that you have 508 extra bytes. And we look inside, and there it is, our Vinny JPEG. Just like you see, it's not here. And all of a sudden, it reappear again. So it's right there. So if you don't believe me, you just go display, Vinny JPEG, and there it is. So this is a huge image inside that other image. And also you can see this image is even smaller than the other one. And we could still put it inside that image. And uh, I, I will show you in another tutorial how to do, uh, you can hide documents and how to hide uh, text files. You can even hide a whole book inside of an image as long as you have enough pixels to cover all of those bytes. And I will show you that in another tutorial. But this is the end of this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, please click the like box and subscribe to my channel. Follow me in GitHub and Twitter, and I will see you next time with another tutorial. Have a great day and thanks for watching.